Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We are in the City in the Sky, and unfortunately, Uku, just kind of to mention this, um, apparently Uku, whenever you collect him in this dungeon, which you do once you go to a shop at the very beginning, he has like a shop, uh, it's part of like a four-way interception at the very beginning of the temple. Oh shit, am I gonna make this? Should be. Able, I'm not. I'm pretty sure where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, you get Uku there, and you know, like usually he's able to warp you out of the dungeon. And then once you restart your playing session, you could use them and warp back to where you were, just like Four of Wind and uh, Ocarina of Time. Well, apparently, he doesn't work that way in this dungeon, and I don't understand what the hell is going on with them. Because like, you know, like, like I say, you want to go back. Uh, Back to my shop, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll do that. So, which is what I did at the end of the last playing session. And apparently, Uku Jr. isn't left behind, so you can't warp back to where you were. So I had to make my way back through the, you know, through the temple. All, all, well, I mean, not do everything all over again, but you know, like make my way through all the rooms again, which was, you know, it still took time, and it was kind of annoying. And that's something I don't understand what they do with this temp uh, this te temple here. Because it's, you know, like, this place is huge, and I haven't even, like, like scratched the surface on it, really. And it, there aren't a whole lot of shortcuts you can take at this point, and it's kind of a pain in the ass to get around in it. So, that's a little gripe I have with this temple right now, is that... You know, you pretty much have to do it in one sitting if if you don't want to go through it all over again if you, like, stop your playing session. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to be going. There's a chest over there, so that's good news. But I'm supposing I need to be floating over there. So I might want to... Let's try doing this. Don't go that way. Damn it, I didn't want to... Uh, I want to go... Oh, I can make that. Okay. Hopefully this will have, like, a key or something of use in it. I know where the two heart pieces are, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, purple rupee, what a waste. Hey, what the hell is in this room? Again, I'm going mostly off of memory here. And I've already have had a couple rooms that tripped me up here. That's where I came in, right over there. Damn, okay, I know, I, I suppose I'm supposed to get over here. Can I, like, claw shot this guy back over to you. Good. Thankfully, you can do this. And claw shot up over to them and pull them back over to you. But I can't seem to hit him. What the hell? It's locked on and everything. Please, can I have him? Thank you. I want my ugly chicken thing with drooping breasts that are really disgusting to look at. Yeah, I just don't know where to go here. <laughs> um... Crating there. We have that hole up there, which I suppose that's where I have to get to. I don't think I can even reach that. Maybe there's like a. Sw I bet you yeah, there's a switch up here, but this looks like a vent that air would come out of. So I wonder if I have to hit a switch to open that. I'm not going to leave this little area here anymore because I'm certain this is where I need to be. I just need to find a switch or find some way into that hole. I would like to turn around. Maybe I shouldn't be so converged is my thing. Oh my god, don't tell me that he he landed up there, bitch. Yeah, and he flies around. What the hell's wrong with him? I don't like Uga right now. I hate this character right now because he's not doing his he's not serving his warping purposes and he's being really annoying to use. Yeah, I apparently think I'm playing Skyward Sword again. So this is a bad start to this episode. I kind of I guess I ended the last one off in a bad room. Oh there we go, there's a switch to hit. I just didn't see that. Again. Kind of a problem I've been having with this dungeon is not paying attention enough to my surroundings. And there you go, that activates that, as I suppose. So I was right about that. And now we can get out of this room. So I guess I can how is everyone doing to one of those things? the standard, I don't know what the how to talk about thing in LPs. Um, well, it's snowing for me. And, I guess, 
early December it's not too early to snow. We've had snow and like I remember it snow on Thanksgiving before, but it was an adventure out there to say the least. People in my city do not know how to drive and you know, the roads I feel like aren't very well designed. They're like they're they're too narrow and just not good for driving in the snow or, or rain in fact matter. I'm I, I know that my first car accident is probably gonna be in this city of Columbia, Missouri. And I I, I was close to having one today. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Just oh my god. Don't want that to happen. Okay, this room I Oh man, this room's pretty tough. Because there's tons of like openings in the wall where there's wind going through, so and as you saw it screwed me over big time and you have to kinda use Uka guys to your advantage. And you have to you wanna make your way to the bottom of this, and it's, it can be pretty nerve wracking. You just try to just you know take it slow, just try to get to one platform at a time. Don't try to do too much with one jump. And the path here oh what the hell is this thing? Oh it's a dick, I'm not gonna tell. Path here is just kind of all over the place. There's nothing really organized about it, which is kind of what I like. There's a thing I can claw shot to there. I just want to be careful with my jumping. I just want to claw shot across. I don't think I can. Huh? The wind goes on, or the fans, I guess, not really the wind, goes on and off. Oh god. I just kind of a blind jump. I hope I can land on something. Where's this take me? Oh yes, that was nice. That was, and I'm sh just a few inches off. I would have fallen down. And I'm not sure where you want to go here. There's a door down there that I can that's open, so I can get to that. There's a switch up there that I passed up, as you saw. So I'm kind of worried about that too. I'm sure, like like these gates here. I'm sure, like one of those switches opens that. Damn, I'm kind of stranded. I can I can claw shot over there. Why is that missing? I don't understand. Flash shot doesn't have very good range in this game, I noticed. I feel like- oh man. Okay, so the wind doesn't- you don't have to time that for the wind. Okay, that's good. I get over there and fight something with the tech time. I don't know what that is over there. Again, a Dekubaba. No! Oh god, I hope I- where am I gonna end up? I'm not sure what this game's policy is. Ah, uh, yeah, the door. Different games have different- oh man, I'm almost dead too. Hold on a second. I don't have any fairies too. I don't want that. There's a heart there, it looks like, so... Whew, okay, this might actually kill me. I don't have any fairies or anything, so... Yeah, I need to be careful here. And I'm not going to be dropping down from these guys anymore. Because that's been working to my disadvantage. I mean, usually when you're doing this room, you can... The, you know, when you have a bunch of hearts, you could freely drop down and not care about losing a couple hearts, but you know, for me, I kind of need to be careful. Which is a, which is a good change of events here. Okay, so... Um... There's that switch there that I kind of want to hit, but I don't, think I, can get, I don't think I can get to that. Maybe getting to... down there? Let's see... I wait for the wind to stop blowing. And jump on down. Carefully float my way down. I'm gonna go to where this claw shot target is, right below. Just ease our way down very carefully. Don't want to take any more damage at this point. And yeah, I think I can do that without getting hurt. Okay. So let's see if I can hit the switch now. Can I? Oh no, it's way too high. Or is there like a different switch? I felt like that was like right above this platform here. I guess keep moving all the way down. God damn it, I wish I was playing Skyward Sword right now. Just because I can yeah, I can maneuver myself a lot better. Okay, this should be fine. Hopefully I'm low enough that the wind won't get me here. And I can easily make this jump. And this leads to the door. Okay, cool. That worked out pretty well, I guess. Just, just had to improvise. Not sure how the game means for you to do that. I guess that's how the game means for you to do it. Just plan it out strategically. 
And this should be the mini boss, but first I need to actually get up. Is like an Uku thing in one of these? Rupees. Look up. Yeah, there you go. Surroundings, 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 surroundings. This should. I don't know what it does. Oh, wait. Iron boots, I bet, right? Yeah, I think the red switch is. I think you, you can tell which ones you can. You need to pull down the iron boots. Like, I. So yeah, these red switches here, you, they're larger, so you have to actually use your iron boots. I just want to make sure I don't want to drop too soon. Yeah, this is the main boss room. I, rec I recognize this. And this is called an Aerophos, I believe. The flying version of the. Oh, can take off your iron boots. The flying version of the Dinosaur. And what you have to do with them is eventually they will raise their shield and it will resemble a claw shot target. And that's exactly what it is. You claw shot it, pull them over to you, and then slash them. They, yeah, they do fight in the ground, don't they? Eventually they will fly back up. And then you, you pretty much fight them here like a normal. Oh my god, you have flying platforms here. Yeah, look out for those. Yeah, and when they're on the ground like that, you can f pretty much find like a normal Dynathos. But yeah, these guys are pretty easy. I think they'll swoop it. Oh, there we go. No, 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 no. That's not how you're supposed to do it. Oh, how that happened. Yeah, you just have to be really careful about the falling platforms. I don't know why I'm having trouble doing my... Uh, my, uh, backslice. Okay. So, wait for him to bring up his shield again. It's pretty much the only way you do this. There we go. Hoop stun for a little bit. And... I don't think that's it. I think he actually gets reinforcements, right? I don't know how this changes. I know... I mean, obviously this is the second phase. Oh, maybe he just like... Yeah, he goes out of the hole and tries to trick you. And you, just, you have to kind of just keep an eye out for him and maybe like guess which hole he's in. I'm trying to do shield bashes. Oh shit, where is he? I think he just went outside again. So just kind of look around. There he is. It's too high for me to grab him. Man, the length of this claw shot's really screwed me up so far. But doing pretty good in health. I was able to regain that missing heart really quickly. There we go. And that will be the it for him. So a pretty cool enemy that we'll a we will actually be seeing more in this game, which is which is nice because I, I really like those enemies. They have a kind of they have a cool design to them, I think. And up here, since that was a that was the proper mini boss of the dungeon. This will be our main item. And this is one of the best upgrades in the Zelda series. We got another claw shot, so now we have the double claw shot. And if you like Spider-Man, then you'll love this upgrade here. This, quite frankly, makes you feel a lot like Spider-Man. And let's see how we're... Oh, we actually re-equip it. Oh, that's kind of weird. But yeah, um, actually, I can probably end this episode right here.